Well, if you're a regular viewer of Our City Tonight, you know that we will go anywhere, anytime to check out a great film festival, and that's the case right here. I'm at the sixth annual Turkish Film Festival in Gastown, the Woodward Buildings, and we're going to talk to some folks, talk about Turkish film, which has never been hotter. The export of great film is now available. Let's go check out this great gala and party. Well, I'm here with the uh, festival director. The party, of course, is in full swing. Elam, we want to thank you for joining us tonight. For our viewers watching out there that missed this year's festival, talk about uh, the Turkish film in general and, and how this festival has really expanded. Mm -hmm. Well, we started in 2011, and when we first started, it was at a um, little salon, and we had, like, we screened 16 films, and we had a lot of people joining us, like, the audience was pretty amazing, so that gives us kind of, like, the go-ahead, so you can have a bigger film festival, and starting in 2014, our festival just expanded, we were first at VIFF, you know, Vancouver International Film Festival, then we moved to SFU Woodwards, because now we're partners with SFU. It's also amazing too that I mean Turkish film has never been hotter. I think we can say uh, the influence the movies are showing all over the place. What are you hearing from people that are coming to the show? Are they liking what they're seeing? They do. I mean, we have a lot of art house films, so the Canadians really like that. Uh, we also have mainstream films, more for our audience as well. So there's a lot of like documentaries, short films, feature films, award-winning um, features. We have many of those. And it's also good because you've got panel discussions, which is exciting, where you get the members, people showing up, the general public can get involved in the Q&As and you've also brought some actors up. Uh, you have a top actress who's here promoting one of her movies that has done very well on the circuit. Tell our viewers a little bit about yeah. that. So we have Saadet Akso joining us uh, tonight. Uh, she's actually coming from LA. She was uh, the main actor in one of our films called South. Um, it's an amazing film. It was actually the official, official selection at Toronto International Film Festival. Very nice. Now, people want to see more Turkish film. Of course, uh, your festival is here every year. But where in the off season when you're not around with the festival, where can people see your film? And where can they find out more information about your festival? Well, our, for our festival, they can go to vtff.ca and check out our films. They can also see the history of the films that we have shown. Um, for audience who are interested in seeing more Turkish films, they can go to Netflix. They can go to I, um, Apple TV. And there's a lot of like platforms that they can actually purchase Turkish films. I'm going to put you on the spot with this last question. I know you can't really pick favorites, but if people are watching out there going, give me your top one or two directors that I need to see from Turkey. Who do they need to see? Well, uh, of course, Nuri Bilge Ceylan. He has received many awards from Cannes Film Festival before. Alper, um, Emin Alper, his actual film is our opening film uh, at the festival this year. Um, well, there is uh, many more that I can give up, but I guess I'm going to stick to those two okay. for now, yeah. <laughs> Go enjoy the party. It's in full swing tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You bet. Well, one of the great treats, actually, the party in full swing, one of the great treats uh, of the festival is having Sadat Aksoy here for uh, a little chat with us tonight. Very busy, but we're, we welcome you to Vancouver because you travel everywhere to act. Talk a bit about the movie that you've got here at the festival. I told you it just I sobbed three times in the film, and I don't want to give it away to our viewers, but talk a bit about Turkish film, your work, and this wonderful film. Uh, it's amazing to be at this uh, festival here at Vancouver Turkish Film Festival. I think the selection is great. Uh, we're going to see uh, three sisters tonight and uh, I'm going to see the movie for the first time. And uh, this year actually uh, there's, a, uh, there's a special mention to women in the industry in Turkey, North America, in the US and Canada. So it's to me, when I look at the selection, I see all these female-oriented movies, which is really important, and which is actually really important for the Turkish cinema, because it's not a type of uh, characters that we usually see in Turkish films. But recently, there are a couple of films, a couple of directors that are focusing more on uh, female characters. And one of those films is actually my film, Saf. Uh, and I'm really excited that the movie's here. Actually, this is our second time in Canada. In Canada, right. Yeah. I was going to say uh, Toronto International Film Festival. Tip yeah. official nomination or a selection. Um, talk about the theme, if you can, in a few words, because one of the things I love about world cinema is that you can go to different countries, but there are certain themes and storylines that are always going to be similar. And with this movie, Saf, the gentrification, people being squeezed yeah. out, unemployment, trying to end, end, make ends meet, that really hit me with this film. Uh, it's really interesting. 
interesting. Uh, it's a huge issue in Istanbul right now, gentrification. Like a lot of the big cities in the world, I mean, it was really interesting for me uh, when I first came to Toronto uh, with the film because uh, we were on the way to our hotel from the airport and uh, the gentleman who picked us up, we were just chatting about the movie and uh, we told him that it was about gentrification and he started kind of like complaining about what was happening in Toronto about gentrification. And this is interesting because it's, I mean, like when we think about Canada and like European countries, we're like, oh, maybe they don't have problems like that. Oh. It's, a, it's an issue in Turkey, so it's something that we deal with in Istanbul, but it's not. It's a very international problem that we're facing right now. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's, it's, that's the beauty and magic of cinema uh, to me. You uh, shoot a movie in a small neighborhood in Istanbul that is changing dramatically. And uh, then, like, after you finish the movie, time passes, and then you have your premiere in, like, on the other side of the world with people coming from totally different cultures, but they can still find a lot of similar feelings when they watch your movie. To me, this is the magic, and uh, I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this job. Well, we're uh, welcoming a uh, new transplant to Vancouver, the new Consul General for uh, Turkey here in Vancouver. Talan, it's a pleasure to have you here. First, got to ask you uh, your thoughts on Vancouver. You've been here two months. Uh, yes, thank you, Jim. Uh, I've been here two and a half months already, and it's a great city. Actually, it was one of my first choices when I, I wanted to be posted here, you know, and then when I arrived here, I saw that, you know, I wasn't wrong in any sense. It was, it's a great, Great city. Um, I'm really excited to cover things like this, the Turkish Film Festival, because I love world cinema. I think that brings people together. You know, you can look at certain countries and you see nothing but negative news and all that, but then you meet the people and you see the product they make. And how important is it for Turkey and their film and their TV has never been hotter, never been in more demand. Talk about what that does for your people and your country when this beautiful product is going out abroad. Yes, exactly. As you mentioned, uh, Turkish film industry and the uh, uh, television industry also, like a soap opera series, they're on the rise, it's a big boom. Already in Europe, uh, there's a huge demand and for example, Turkish productions started to be asked uh, by Latin American countries as well. So now we have a chance to see some samples of the fine select Turkish movies here in Vancouver. I gotta tell you, uh, as a former full-time film critic, one of my favorite movies of the first 20 years of this century was a Turkish film called Edge of Heaven, which is one of my all-time favorite films, so look for that, it's out there. Okay, one more question I gotta ask you before I throw you back to the party. Uh, congratulations on another note, you've got Turkish Airlines, and I know how tough it can be to get an airline in and out of our city and our country. Yeah. Tell our viewers about Turkish Airlines, because Istanbul and Turkey are a great destination for vacationers and tourists. Talk about Turkish Airlines coming to Vancouver. Yes, so Turkish Airlines has already uh, announced to its in investors that uh, they're planning to start uh, direct Vancouver Istanbul flights for, as of mid 2020. I've never heard I've never heard a bad word from tourists and friends that have been to Istanbul and the rest of Turkey. I thank you for taking some time and congratulations. We're all Turkish tonight, and it's a great evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and welcome to Vancouver. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.